guys welcome to another video it's another weekend here at d1 nz we're here for another round this time's a little bit different we've got a another backup car unfortunately unfortunately the uh the 180 was on the dyno developed a little bit of a noise in the motor the boys have poured a bunch of time effort and money into that car and do not want to risk um hurting it so completely fair what I've got is uh, James's, uh, I guess, missile car, R32 four-door with an RB25 in it, making 450 horsepower in a pro comp. Why the hell not? It makes 350 <laughs> horsepower. What are you talking about? 350. Oh, I don't know. I'm just made it up. <laughs> James, more James is telling me it's 450. Uh, about that. About that. What's that? It's a 320 kilowatt. I think it's 420, isn't it? 420 high. <laughs> the clouds coming out the back. <laughs> This is our faithful over here, as you can tell. Yeah, she takes all the beatings. Have you shown everyone yeah. the Wuhan <laughs> Whistler on? <laughs> no, I, we haven't got, well, we did go over it a little us, while ago in a video. Yeah, yeah, that was Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't make it. This has been Ben steering rack. Oh, yeah. that is that. Oh, it's got a bent tie rack or a bent no, tie rod? Tie rod. Tie rod. Oh, he likes um, the, as you know, he likes to blame other people. Is this where I had to turn? You had a go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's had a go. This is this is the town this is bicycle. Like the old Street, uh, yeah, it's a town bike. Everyone's had a ride. Yeah, exactly. Can't wait for it. It's all faithful though. That's the thing. China, 85. She'll fire straight up. Oh no, it's 90. It's just normal fuel, isn't it? Normal fuel. It's a party. Yeah. There we go. That, goes. that starts better than that rotary. It starts better than the rotary I was driving last round. So what do we got? This, and then we got to go against. Nah, nah, rubbish, <laughs> rubbish, <laughs> rubbish. Look, what is? Nah, nah. Good, good. CC eater plates. James, how much are we having to pay him off? Um, 200 bucks, oh, he said he'll pass anything. Oh, Let me get their money out of your pocket. It's out of my pocket, you're looking in the wrong pockets, bro. Yeah, mate. Leave it, We'll pay him off, mate. Yeah. He'll pass it for us. So that's not the law. There's like a meter, meter. All right, guys. So we did briefing and I've just come out for a track walk, which is proving beneficial. Because coming out here, there's a lot of off camber that you don't really notice from up in the grandstands. Like, look in front of us here, bro. This whole corner just yeah. falls off. That's where people yeah, are getting caught up in the past. Over there on initiation. Just yeah. Up there. But this is a lot worse and here. Drops down over here. This drops way down. Because they want you on that line, eh? Yeah. Because this will suck you into the wall real yeah. quick. All right. I'm going to keep walking around, pay attention to my surroundings. Just get some fitness in. And, uh,. Yeah, pro sport coming out in a sec. All 
All right, guys, R32 is as ready as it can be. Got my race suit on, unfortunately. My race suit's quite wet. Um, but yeah, if you are coming out here tomorrow, well, today, tomorrow, on uh, Saturday, we have a brand new hoodies, guys. Um, you're definitely gonna wanna check these out. That's a JDM one, but we have brand new styles of Fink & Co hoodies. Where are they? No, that's the wrong one. Oh, this is one of our ones here. So I'll show you guys. So, where is it? So we got that Fink & Co logo there, front and back. And then we've got a Shibby hoodie now as well. Uh, right now they're exclusive to New Zealand, so come out here to D1NZ and uh, go see uh, why feel the girls and pick one up. Um, yeah, I'm stoked on these, but we're, um, yeah, come out and grab them. They are super warm, nice and thick, NZ spec. Um, so we're pretty pumped about that, but I'm going to jump in the 32 now. We've done as much as we can. Um, we can't fit big tyres on the back of the car, so sort of at quite a disadvantage but we've got two three five just kenders um we chuck it on but who knows we're gonna have fun i'll do what i can and uh hopefully get a result result running for your first lap yeah first pracky running the old kendy boys we've got some small boys on there now some two three fives oh well we'll do what we can with what we've got hello this, this guy's sick. But you know what else is sick? The R32. Sick. So as cool as these street rounds are, track time is going to be like really minimal. Um, I don't know. I think I'll be lucky if I can get in six laps before qualifying. Um, on a course I've definitely never driven before, in a car I've never driven before. What's new? Um, so yeah, obviously gonna have to uh, push hard. Boys telling me uh, what the track conditions are like. Seems like the track is almost dry. Um, I'd prefer it to be all the way wet, obviously without the power. But um, yeah, we're gonna uh, yeah hopefully get a lap in. All right, unfortunately somebody had a bit of a bingle, so. Oh no, maybe he just broke down. Second run, 
Uh, unfortunately, car started hitting heat car. I'm a bit between gears right now, so I don't know if we'll do a diff ratio change. We may do a diff ratio change so I can use third. But the biggest thing that's killing me, there was a bit of a miscommunication. So rather than going 10 mil of toe out, we've actually got 10 mil of toe in at the front. For anyone that knows anything about drifting, 10 mil toe, any sort of toe in on the front, the car is terrifying to drive at any angle and wobbles all over the place. That's what was happening to me just now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get the alignment sorted out. Toe in at the back, good. Toe in at the front, bad. Toe out at the front, good. Uh, toe out at the back, bad. So remember that one, folks. We're gonna get it sorted out. I think we're gonna run maybe without a bonnet and maybe we're gonna put water sprays on so we can at least get two laps. Um, but I think a ratio change will uh, probably help us a lot, so. All right, so we're going for a diff change from a 4.3 to a 4.11 to try and get a little bit more wheel speed. Um, I think the boys are also gonna try and shoot it up for a little bit more power. Um, and I was hitting temp cut because it was the clutch fan's no good. So we'd basically need a new clutch for the clutch fan. And there's something else. Oh, and that, that was towed in, which I already spoke about just before. So overall, uh, we've got a few things to change. <laughs> but the boys are under there now doing the diff. Um, the other diff is an open center. So we need to swap the centers as well. Quite a bit of work to do. The next pro session is about to go out now, so I'm missing out, but I think I'll go and have a watch. How do you do, boss? Good. Good? Beautiful. Yeah. Airflow! Uh, what did we do? What happened? GDR. The front G fell off. GDR conversion? The front fell off. GDR bonnet, that's worth a fortune now. Woo. Sharp it, sharp it. So... We are still having the heat dramas and your uh, airflow. Airflow. He's, he's airflow. not just the best. So we're getting water sprayers. Uh, we got a clutch fan on the way, sort of. We needed to meet the guy halfway. Okay. So we got a clutch fan on the way. We've done a disc swap. Um, it's all happening. I'm hoping to get at least a few more practice laps before we go into qualifying. And to make things better. We've just had a bunch of stuff let go. The whole water pump. Fuck the fuckery. Um, yeah. So we've just had the water pump fail. We just put the fan through the radiator. And, Me of when I met you. Yeah, in Japan, doing this. <laughs> I had this exact thing. same thing happen. Yep. One there. So, I wish I'd said I haven't seen this before, but I have. I think we all have, eh? It's when you're around. That's what it is. It's when you're around. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it a few times, though. <laughs> Impressive. Very impressive. Deleted. Yes. Oh, so it's not even a GK Tech fan, it's just a fan that's painted black. I thought it was a GK Tech fan. No, nah, but a fan out of balance. We'll nice just... uh, digging balls there, mate. How long till uh, qualifying? Another hour. <laughs> We're looking good. He's only had uh, one and a quarter laps. Would you call it one and a quarter laps? One with the steering and a being messed up, that yeah. one lap? Oh, basically one lap. Half a lap. <laughs> Not even a lap. Not even a lap, a sightseeing. Sightseeing, yeah. Ah, oh, well. Alright, so I've been here editing with earphones and stuff on. Apparently, uh... Now it's turned off now. <laughs> now it's turned off. I heard a car in the background. But she's running again. The boys are on. That fan not moving is bad. Oh, it just feels like it up. Okay. But we're all fancy and good. Unreal. So... Phoenix hooked us up with a radiator. Um, not hooked us up, we bought a radiator. <laughs> Brand new water pump, and then a fan from somebody. From someone at Phoenix. They usually hit one. Oh, a clutch fan. Yeah. After all that. Yep. All right, so apparently we're back in action with the R32. Um, no practice though. Oh, oh, actually, they're letting us have a mechanical practice lap because obviously we haven't had any laps. 
and we want to mechanically make sure the car is fine before I go and try and do a qualifying lap. Uh, so later on tonight, when we get to do qualifying in the dark on a track that I've done one lap in with a messed up alignment, I'm going to go out in this car and attempt to do a qualifying lap. But I think it's top 24 and there's, I think there's less than 24 drivers anyway, so really I just need to get some freaking laps in and there's practice again tomorrow where we can obviously suss the car out a bit more and do what we kind of need to do to make it work. But I'm pumped it's coming in. I honestly didn't think they'd get it done that quick. It's amazing. So huge props to the boys from uh, EFI and Turbo and all the guys at JDM Racing here getting that sorted out. Obviously uh, stoked that the guys from Phoenix had um, radiator. Is that a happy Jesus face or? Hey? Put it on the podium, you'll see happy. <laughs> She's gonna, she, she's gonna be on the podium. We're pushing, shit up, we're pushing shit up hill, but I'm used to that. We got the Wu Tang whistle. She's gonna be our friend this weekend. Prime eBay special, clicky motor. Um, yeah, we got this. We got, we got this. We've done this. We've done this. Yeah. Chinese manifold, Chinese turbo. What can go wrong? Nothing. We've got this.
All right, so I went and got that practice lap done. Pretty freaking happy with it. First lap, obviously, I went in too fast. Um, that's just because I wasn't used to the new ratio and stuff. And these tires don't have as much grip as I'd hoped. Um, I'm gonna do qualifying on these tires and stuff. The car ran fantastic, stayed cool. Um, all of that was great. So I'm super happy with that. We're gonna have our two qualifying laps. We're just doing some dyno pulls at the moment. We're doing the old uh, foot brake, hand brake, dyno runs. Um, he's just cleaning up the dyno map because this car didn't have an O2 sensor, so he's able to do some runs and get the, the, the car running a bit better for me. Um, I don't know, I can't complain. I can't thank the guys enough for getting it all sorted out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just did a sneaky second lap then because I fucked up my first one, basically. Next up, straight into qualifying. Fingers crossed I can do that second lap on qualifying, do a nice sparky on the wall, run the clips deep and uh, do everything I can. It's not going to be smoky like all the rest, but it's what I'm working with, so I'll push as hard as I can. Alright guys, the good news and bad news continues. Super bad news is I've been editing all day, keeping up with everything that's going on so I can drop this video for you guys straight away in the morning. I had the last clip I was putting into the video, then I had this clip right now I needed to film and the video was done and I lost a lot. Very, very upsetting, but on a positive note, I qualified second. In the old skyline, man. That is absolutely ludicrous. Q1 in a 
freaking like literally two three five oh, like insane insane so huge thanks to all the boys behind the scenes getting it all sorted out um, team came together and got it punched out like I was in here editing and I didn't even realize the car was running when they fixed it so super pumped on that like I said guys the new hoodies they are a sort of NZ exclusive at the moment um, hopefully we sell out of them in New Zealand but if you're here at D1NZ um, this round and the next round come and grab one with store happening over near the grandstands go see the girls anyway thanks for watching guys peace out I'll see you in the next one